Hello everyone, this is Satvik, and in this video, I'll be showing you how you can enumerate SMB. So whether it might be a penetration test or whether it might be a capture the flag tournament, SMB plays a vital role. So without getting any delay, let's start. So guys, uh, before diving into the topic of enumeration, so let's discuss what SMB means. So SMB means or stands for server message block, and this is a simply this is simply a file sharing protocol. So the main reason SMB protocol was designed is to allow computers to write and read files on remote host within a same local area network. So that's the main uh, idea of implementing SMB. And coming to the history, SMB had one of the worst history, the worst attacks out there carried out there in the uh, history are completely on SMB. So. So if you find SMB port or uh, SMB service running out there on any machine you are trying to attack then it's like a full meal day or it's a happy day for you because you can definitely find some information using SMB or if everything goes well you can even exploit it as well. So but in this video this video is everything regarding how you can enumerate SMB. So the first and the foremost thing is uh, foremost thing I want to tell you is I am running this on my virtual network. Uh, where I'm where my attacker machine is Kali Linux and uh, my vulnerable machine is Metasploitable. So let me do a quick nmap scan. So here, guys, you can see uh, port number 139 and 445 are open. So most of the time, Samba runs on these two ports, uh, whether it might be 139 or 445, and these are TCP based ports. So and as you know that nmap has something called nmap scripting engine so let me show that for you let me enlarge a little bit let me locate for dot nsc dot nsc uh, represents net net uh, nmap scripting engine and i'll be piping my result for only smb and guys you can see some ton of uh, uh, nmap scripting engines or nsc files out there so what this does is this simply verifies whether it is vulnerable or uh, sometimes this even gives you a backdoor as well. So let's make it simple. There is an option called minus sc which uh, run for default scripts. So if it founds an SMB, it will be running some default scripts. You can run all these as well, but it takes some time. So I'll be going with a, a simple thing. A script minus port 139. I'll be specifying the port 139 and 445 since these are open and i will be specifying my ip so let's see uh, what our machine is uh, what information the nmap is giving to us and also if you want to run a script okay so it's simple nmap hyphen hyphen script equals to and specify the script if you want to run all uh, smb star dot nsc star is a wildcard entry here specify the ports uh, specify the ports and the IP 7 okay so I'm go not gonna run this because this is gonna take some time but you can definitely run this out so let's see guys uh, here you can see it ran some default scripts so SQL information it's uh, execution failed so guys if you find something like execution failed or false that means that uh, our target machine is not supporting those scripts or uh, it might not be vulnerable to those so it is not uh, so but here you can see something called nbt stat so it is finding us the netbios name which is metasploitable username uh, mac address and stuff and here you can see something like smb voice discovery it is execution fail means it might not be uh, allowing this stuff security mode and smb two time so if something fails or something error means uh, the target might not be allowing or uh, it's not supporting those so that's how you can uh, enumerate some data regarding nmap and guys uh, you can also find the version so in the, in the field of hacking or penetration testing finding the version helps you a lot because these versions are most of the time the version that are being used might be vulnerable or those might not be patched so in nmap you can use something called uh, an argument called hyphen s capital v uh, which specifies the port i'll be only going with port 444 guys uh, because it will be much more faster 
but you can try that out as well but here in port number 139 netbios is uh, running so i'll be going with port 445 and uh, let's wait for a while it will be finding out the version of the port 445 running out there here you can see something called a version samba uh, smbd 3.x to 4.x you can simply copy this thing you can simply google it simple google it uh, you'll be finding some exploits you can find an exploit regarding metasploit this works okay, you can definitely try this out so you will be having some information on what uh, module you should use and stuff and sometimes uh, sometimes what happens is uh, here the version you got here is smbd 3.x to 4.x but this is not the exact version right so this uh, so the module given out here by the rapid 7 which means metasploit might work or might not work so you need to uh, find the exact version of smb so smb or samba so here guys we can make use of metasploit so simply launch your um, msf console and simply follow my steps and take notes because these are some of the important tools and uh, these tools you will be working on these tools uh, for longer time and simply use a module called smb underscore underscore uh, version simply hit enter and there is only one module regarding this thing so it will auto auto select the stuff which is an auxiliary module it doesn't attack it okay it simply tells you the version let's look into the options so here uh, only our hosts which is the ip at target ip is uh, required so let's set the our hosts uh, which is 10.0.0.7 in my case and let me exploit and you can see here a uh, samba 3.0.2.0 is the exact version of the samba uh, smb service that is uh, running on my metasploitable but if you uh, if you look previously that in nmap we got the result as uh, smbd from 3.x to 4.x but this is an exact version so you can get uh, exact exploits that are uh, related to this version uh, let me look for exploit and yes you will find some of them uh, this works fine uh, these two works fine okay uh, you can definitely try uh, try them out but these two work fine so so that's uh, that's how guys you can uh, find the exact version of smb using metasploit so let me exit my metasploit and uh, let me clear my terminal so we got an exact version and uh, now let's see what the shares are so smb shares are like uh, uh, the locations which allows you to read or write files we previously uh, talked regarding that and now what we'll be doing is we'll be looking into some uh, shares and the permissions out there so for this you can make use of a tool called smb map and uh, the arguments are uh, if you can simply look into the arguments minus minus help but uh, let me tell you the simple thing specify hyphen capital h and then specify the ip minus uh, capital h specifies the host 10.0.0.7 so my uh, my target ip is 10.0.0.7 and it might be uh, different in your case we hit enter and guys you can see here uh, the ip is uh, our target machine and it is looking into the port 445 and here these are the disks or shares which are having the permission here you can see a share called print dollar uh, which specifies uh, which is mostly for printers okay and uh, there is a share called temp which has read and write access opt optional no access ipc uh, no access and admin is also having no access so if you are having an access like read and write to admin then uh, you you got a jackpot okay but most of the time that doesn't work and also so what we'll be looking into is uh, we'll be looking recursively into these shares by using same smb so what uh, the same command but use an argument called minus capital r so it will recursively uh, looking into each files out there on the share let me hit enter and as we know that tmp is having read and write access so these are the files that are available in tmp means temporary 
So you can also use an argument called minus r to uh, find out all the files if it is having some read or write access. Okay, so guys, that's everything how you can use SMB map. So this is also an important tool okay, uh, and most important tool out there. And but you can't access regarding SMB map. You can only see what are the permissions you have and what are the files you have using SMB map. But there is another tool called SMB client, which helps you to list out all the shares as well as connecting to them. So let me clear my terminal once again. And, and guys, all the tools I'm showing here will be available in Kali Linux or any other hacking distributions out there. So let's look into the options. We have some various options out there uh, you can read them but in order to make this video a little bit faster i had already read them and uh, we'll be looking into them so usage is smb client and minus l to list out all the shares and you need to uh, look into this format guys like four slashes and uh, ip and followed by double slashes sometimes uh, you can also specify like this like double slash or thing like that but uh, sometimes this doesn't work so i'll be going with four slashes also four uh, slashes let me hit enter uh, it's asking us the password we don't know simply hit enter and guys you can see here some share names which is print so printer drivers as i told temp unknowns OPT is a disk, IPC is a service, admin is a service, and also the server and comment. There is nothing out there here, but here you have a work group and master. So here by using this argument called minus L, which specifies uh, which lists out all the share names and some information of our target machine, which is having an SMB uh, SMB service running out there. So here you can see the share name at uh, disk and printer driver sonos and some stuff comments out there as well most of the time you find the password in the comments in ctfs okay so uh, using this smb client tool also helps you and if you uh, let's see previously we had seen that tmp share has read and write access so let's try to connect to this share with uh, uh, by using smb client so let me clear my screen smb client uh, four slashes 10.0.0.7 double slash and tmp hit enter i don't know the password once again i'm gonna hit enter and anonymous login is successful and let's look into help here you got some various options out there so the div is an option which helps us so you can see the files out there and uh, you can quit or you can do many more things out there okay uh, you can remove the file you can remove a directory uh, you can archive you can close you can echo these are some default commands that are supported by the smb okay so if you are having an access to a share and if you are having uh, some of these commands make use of them and try to exploit uh, try to upload a vulner uh, exploit out there and try to execute okay so that's how you can use smb client in order to list out the shares and also uh, trying to connect to those shares and one more thing and uh, one more important thing i want to uh, disclose today uh, is there is a tool called enium for linux this is also an important tool guys uh, you can you should definitely check this out this is not only for uh, smb but also for everything let me hit enter this will be finding out all the things but since we are targeted on smb here we can see the nbt stat information and the target information OS information uh, which is Linux and here you will be getting some lots of stuff here you will be getting some users here you will be getting some SMB information as well uh, which is SMB client if you uh, remembered the uh, remembered my previous command SMB client hyphen capital L and the share and the IP address you will be getting the same result out there and uh, it is also trying to connect to those shares okay uh, so it tried to connect to the share and shows it is denied it's, it tried to connect to the temp uh, share it is okay opt denied ipc it is uh, can't understand the response and admin it is denied so you can uh, look into uh, you can make use of this enum for linux also okay so and also some important information like minimum password length and these are not necessary now but uh, 
yeah you can make use up to smb out there here and the problem with the enum for linux is it is throwing a lot of it is not at all the output is not at all polished you can see a lot of error out there okay uh, but i'm using the old win, old version of kali linux so it is not showing much errors but if you are using the latest version like 2020 or 2020.4 or 3 sorry you'll be seeing a lot of errors out there so guys that's how you can use uh, uh, this tool called enum for linux and also i had shown you some tools uh, namely so let me write them for you uh, let me analyze this a little bit uh, once again i'll show you what the tools we used right now uh, so the first and the foremost thing is nsc okay we used nmap scripting engine and uh, an option called minus sv and uh, for enumerating and also we use something called msf console which is metasploit to find version and also we use something called smb map uh, to find shares and their accesses okay uh, so, sorry their access and we also seen something called smb client uh, to list as well as to connect okay and also we had seen something called uh, enum for linux uh, which is all in one tool so guys in this video we had seen a netmap how we can use nmap scripting engine uh, metasploit to find the exact version smb map smb client and enum for linux so this is how you can use uh, these various tools in order to enumerate a lot of information regarding smb uh, so if you like this video please like it and if you are having any doubts uh, feel free to comment below or you can join my discord server out there as well uh, where you will find uh, where you can post your questions out there as well in the relevant channels so thank you for watching this video uh, this is satvik signing off